I think I'm about to get rid of all of my planners and journals, guys. I think, I think this is happening. The concept of minimalism is something that I've been interested in for a good while now and I keep drawing it back to my stationery and my desk space. We even kicked off the year with a seven day stationery declutter challenge, which if you still want access to the Discord and checklist, I'll leave a link in the description box below. It's just a topic that I... I really find myself excited to engage in and I've brought it up so many times in previous videos and it's all led up to this very moment. The moment where I decided to let go to get rid of my planners and journals. This was not an entirely new idea to me. I had considered getting rid of my planners and journals for a while, but was always comforted by the fact that I could just put off that decision until later and on a seemingly normal Saturday afternoon I was going through my planners and journals and it just hit me that I didn't want to hold on to them anymore so I gathered them all in a heavy stack in my arms, marched them down the stairs and outside into the recycling. This might sound like a horrific decision to some of you and for others you might be thinking what's the big deal, no biggie, but for me it was honestly such a significant and challenging step towards a more minimalist and simplified lifestyle. So there are two things that I want to address here. First is that in our previous conversations, I've made it a point to say that I'm not a minimalist. I think I've even gone out of my way to point out that distinction. And on the surface, to some, I probably don't fit the definition, but the spirit of minimalism is what's motivating me right now, and I am fully embracing it. Second, I want to clarify that I only took inventory of my used and completely filled planners and journals. So all of the planners and journals that I'm currently using or that are brand new were not part of this little sporadic declutter. <laughs> What I find interesting though is I did decide to hold on to two of my fully completed morning page journals. When I was going through my little storage bin, I just, I, I'm not ready to part with those and I think that's okay. There was this moment right before I dropped my planners and journals into the recycling bin where I hesitated. I panicked and thought to myself, aren't you gonna miss these? Won't you need these someday? Will you regret throwing away all these memories? And just all of those questions of doubt flooded my head. It's been about 18 days at the time that I'm filming this since I let go of my planners and journals and it'll be even more time since then by the time that you guys are watching this video. I can confidently say that I don't miss them, I haven't needed them, and I have zero regrets about letting go of those memories. The truth of the matter is I rarely ever reached for that storage bin full of planners and journals, and if I did, sometimes it was for a video, but most of the time it was because I was taking inventory. I was actively trying to declutter and each time I just said, it's not time and I think that's okay. I'm glad that I honored my time and my intuition to not let those go before the time that I did decide to let them go. It all happened at the right time and I'm really glad that I made that decision. So you may be wondering to yourself, should you let go of your planners and journals or some other part of your stationery collection? The answer really isn't so straightforward and so simple. In my case, I had given myself a lot of time to consider this decision and its consequences. When I did finally decide that it was time to let go of my planners and journals, the result was extremely positive. I feel so much more happy and lighter and like I have more mental space to just 
enjoy life. For you, you might experience the opposite. I think because we invest so much sentimental value and energy into our belongings that there is no one size fits all solution to how you would approach your stationery and really anything that we bring into our lives. So my best advice here is to just consistently consider what brings you joy and that may very well be a full archive of all of your planners and journals. I know that this video is a bit different so I really appreciate you sticking around till the end. It's been quite the experience and I just felt compelled to share in case it helps one of you and if anything it can serve as food for thought. I'm curious, do you hold on to all of your planners and journals? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of our videos. I do my best to upload here every Wednesday at 8 a.m. PST, so please take care until then. Feel free to enjoy these two videos linked here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.